I want to be very brief. One, we are simply talking about humanities and the technical <coughs> subjects. So you automatically know the subjects that we are simply talking about in our case here. Uh, one of the things that you should have noted is that these subjects have a lot of notes. You have written very many notes in some of the subjects, especially like history, geography, uh, business, computer studies, uh, on science, CRE, in such a way that uh, probably like a subject, like in biology, you may have only filled a 120 book, but in CRE, you may be now in your fourth book. Is it true? So we are actually talking of subjects that are very <coughs> few notes. I want to give four tips that will help you in, uh, in performing very well in these subjects. One of the things that you need to know is uh, you need uh, to know the specification before you start revising. Knowing specifications before you start revising. What am I saying this point? Uh, probably your timetable tonight says at 7 you'll be reading CRE. You have to set yourself ready for revising CRE. What do you have? What should you have? You need to have uh, notes, probably your, your, your lesson notes that you have been given by your teachers. You also need to have your revision books or textbooks. And I just understand that we have to the exercise books, which is simplified, which is very right and very correct. If you have the, the textbook as well, you can still use it as part of your revision. You have the various textbooks that are there, therefore you need to have them ready with you uh, when you are revising. What should you be doing when you are revising? Let's assume that uh, we are revising a chapter uh, in, I uh, want to, to, to take you to, to geography. See, you took geography, sasa. I'm also a geography teacher. Uh, if you go to geography, there's a chapter two in form one is about the solar systems, the earth and the solar system. Yes, so if you are revising that, we need to have, you have to condense those notes that you have written. Probably this one chapter which has taken over 15 pages. One chapter over 15 what? Pages. As a student, <coughs> it is your mandate when you are revising, you condense those notes into not more than two pages. Not more than what? Two, two what? Pages. Because you need to revise it very fast at any given time. That is, you have to make summary notes, which not be more than how many pages? Two. Two means, if you are using this book, this and this, that should be one chapter. Because you only need the key things when you are revising, and that is the, that will make your revision easier. That is, uh, every chapter must be condensed. How many people have summary notes here? How many? Uh -huh. So look at them. And by making those summary notes, you will find yourself you are not making noise, as Mwanimu is talking about for Because you will be engaging yourself when doing that. Number two, uh, when you are still revising, you should ensure you test yourself. You test your what? Yourself. That topic that is there that is written, factors that affect, uh, uh, factors affecting, affecting what? Yeah? Factors affecting population. You need to, te to test, to turn it into a question. What are the factors affecting population? Then now, from there, that is testing yourself. Then you give the pop, the points. Out of that, as well, you can also make an interchange. These two people are revising. You can tell if it is a... Uh, yes, Mwanambio, anaeza ambia huyu, ni setie mtiani, kutoka kwa hii chapter, the solar system. Please set for me some five questions from a certain chapter. And then you can attest, attest, uh, attempt them, and then you return to her for marking. Then as well, you interchange. How many do that? Wangapi wanafanya hivyo? Hapa ni naona ni mungu ni ponye. 
Unafanya ukiwa na nani? Basho unafanya ukiwa na nani? Niliani. Peke yako. By that you are uh, you are increasing the retention rate in your uh, in when replacing. Um, uh, ensure that you keep on repeating the exercise repeatedly. These things, some of them require you to cram. Is it true? It is not like mathematics where you have to understand. These things require you to cram. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to, to remember agriculture in Mesopotamia if I fail to cram. Is it true? So by that, for you to cram, and then you take it actually to the best part of the brain, this one can only come when you keep on repeating it. And don't you keep on repeating it when you are writing, when you are testing yourself, when you are doing practical exams, Remarking, if you don't know, go back to the notes, read the points, get back. Now prepare what we call a cheat answer. A cheat what? Cheat answer ni ile umiliku unajifanyia mtiani ina umesaulika na kujibu. Sini ukweli? So unarudi kwa kitabu na ando unakonifamu hiyo answer na unakuji unajibu pale. That is a cheated exam. Sini ukweli? Which is not allowed but you are giving a cheat answer. And with that, it, at the end of it all, it will be end up sticking in your, in your mind. Number two, uh, make association between the topic you are facing. Make an association between the topic you are facing. Abbreviations, rims, and pictures. Abbreviations, rims, and pictures. You can relate. Like if we are, uh, if we are looking at the, 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 is it the, we have the moon eclipse and the solar eclipse. What comes first, what is at the center, what is at the end. Inini inakuja katikati, nagumbuka vizuri kulikuwa na sun, moon, earth. Is it true? Iyo ni eclipse gani? Is it the moon or the solar? No. The solar. Hata wagini awajui, nita wakumbusha. So we are trying to make a, a, a picture of the same. What happens if you you are creating a picture, an imaginary picture, so that will, which will help you uh, uh, revise. You can as well end up coming up with the, with the silly abbreviations. Silly what? Abbreviations. Like uh, in primary, tulikuwa tunaongea mambo ya, ya, ya colors of the rainbow. Is it true? And you had made some abbreviations. Richard of York, yet, battle in vain. Na tunajua R stands for what? Y sta, uh, uh, get, G stands for? B, battle stands, B is, uh, is what? So at least we are making some silly abbreviations which will help us. Kama ni kwa geography na tunaongea mambo ya lakes in the Rift Valley. Yuko pia tulikuwa na na vile tulikuwa tunafanya. Huko kwetu mimi nilikuwa natumia tumba mbona ya nama. We have two. Uh, tumba mbona ya nama. Those are silly abbreviations. They are your abbreviations. That is why I'm calling them silly what? Abbreviations. You need to make these abbreviations so that at least you know. If it is here, I, na points mumeandika pale. Vizuri, lessons learned from when Jesus entered uh, Jerusalem while driving a, uh, a donkey. Siyapo kuna lessons iku wako. Ya kwanza ni humility. Si utaandika H. Unazonga ya pili. Ingini ni gani? Aya, utajikumbusha. Then you can abbreviate them. Make some silly abbreviations so that they aid you in, uh, in, uh, in revising uh, uh, those, uh, those uh, things that you are revising. The other thing, do practice uh, papers. Do practice papers. Ensure that you get uh, several books that have questions that have been set, exams. Try to attempt them. Uh, after attempting them, you can mark for yourself. Are we together? Test yourself, mark for yourself, and as well, you do what? You, you, you give yourself feedback. Swali ni kwa five points, and you could only remember three. Is it a mistake for you remembering three? No. Just uh, mark for yourself, and then you give yourself marks. 
3 over what? 5. Then now you go back to where what we said you give cheat what? Answers. Where you go and confirm your answers and you give. We are simply saying that these subjects have a lot of notes and therefore you need to ensure that uh, you keep on revising them repeatedly. Uh, those notes ensure that you summarize them. Um, what, has, what Malimu has said is that uh, when I meet you in my computer class, definitely I will know that you have decided you walk the talk. If I was demanding you, you get a 50 in the previous exams because you had very many uh, subjects. This time round, I will demand what? 70. Because you have decided. So we will be with you. This being elective subjects, they are subjects that uh, um, I was shocked to find that you people, you are getting uh, to mark the years in Unuwa Kendiyevumbili wa CRI. Seriously, you people. <laughs> Narrate the story of, uh, of the call of Moses. Now, kwa Sunday school, when I was going, we used to sing a song. You can sing it even in your local language that you were singing. And then you would change it. These are things that you should be remembering. If you can remember them, that is in that is in now in Shang, uh, in French. Eh? I know you yourself. There is also the same way that you used to do in your Kikuyu. You also used to do in your in your Congolese and in your Lua and your Luya land. You can still translate it and then you convert it into what? Let us avoid getting these funny marks that we, which cannot buy you two KDFs in the canteen. KDF ni kumi, na we unapata kumi na tatu. Yanu kinunua moja, ile balance umepewa hata yezi itambuliki shilingi tatu isi ina kitu. Zero eight. Yani you cannot afford the KDF. Seriously, natu kwa kwa siya. Sasa we we. Na kila ziku ni launa hapu umepepa bibilia. Unafanya nini na ayo? Kila wakati na yona mtu wa mesimama pale, wengine hata njulikuwa tunasumbuwa na nikiwa diutu wakienda kubrichia for mwanzi. Na wako wapa tu. Yes. Kwa hivyo ni hivyo ya not get easy ya rehi. But because these things are repeating, I'm not saying that you cannot, you can pass even, we have people who don't do CRI and they, they, who are not Christians and they pass very well in CRI. Yes, what we are saying is we demand a lot. These are subjects that you can pass because they have, uh, they have been formed with some base in another place. Unasoma kanisani, unaileta ndarasani. You apply it. Are we together? Wasema watu watie bidi, wasome kwa bidi, wakikishi wamepita. These are subjects that can boost you. Out of the, the, the humanities, one subject, the, either geography or, uh, or, uh, or history, if you get a 70. Out of the technicals, you get another 70. You are very far from getting a E. Are we together? Get one subject 60, the other one 50. You are very far from getting a E because you are already moving away from that. So these are subjects that can boost your performance. So you people, you have time and you can redeem yourself at this age.